Hey everyone, it's Rec coming out with a brand new video. Today I'm gonna be bringing you guys the best network optimization guide to lower your ping in any game. This guide will make sure that you guys have no packet loss and you're getting the best ping possible. This guide will work for both Ethernet and Wi-Fi, so don't worry guys if you're using a Wi-Fi connection. As you guys might already know, that ping depends on how far away you are from the game servers. So you might not be able to get really low ping but this guide will help you guys get the lowest ping possible for your region and servers in this guide we are gonna go through network optimizations using softwares to lower ping and improving the dns servers to get the best ping possible so without any further ado guys let's get straight into the video First up guys, we are gonna be resetting the network cache files and we are gonna be reverting all the settings back to default. This step itself will fix most of your ping issues. So it's really highly recommended guys. To do that, go down to your start menu and then click on this gear icon. Then go ahead and go to network and internet and then scroll all the way down to find network reset. Click on it and then click on reset now. Then click on yes. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna skip it so I'm gonna click on no. But it's highly recommended that you guys go ahead and reset the network. Then it will ask you guys that your PC will be restarted within 5 minutes. So go ahead and wait for it to be restarted. Once it restarts, it will do all the things that it says here. It will remove and reinstall all of your, all of your network adopters and set other network components back to their original settings. So go ahead and let it do everything for you. And then you can go ahead and follow along with the guide from there. After that, you can close out of it and we are done with the first step. Okay, so for the next step guys, go ahead and go down into the description of this video and click on the link for the ping reduction pack 2020, which will take you to this website right here. Just go ahead and click on this big red download button, which will take you to upload hub. If you open up anything else, just close it until you go to upload hub and then click on download now. I'm using the FPS pack for Fortnite as an example, but it will be the ping reduction pack for you guys. Go ahead and download it, which will download this pack right here. You will need WinRAR or 7-zip to extract this pack, so go ahead and install those as well if you haven't already. Then right click on it and click on extract here. Then go ahead and open up this folder. You will find TCP optimizer, clear DNS cache, ping improve and ping reduction secret files. Just go ahead and use all of these. If you wanna know what these do, go ahead and go into the details about steps and this will tell you everything about these files. We are gonna be starting off with the ping reduction secret. Right click on it and click on merge. Then click on yes, yes, and then click on ok. Then for the clear DNS cache, right click on it and click on run as administrator. And then press any key to continue. After that, go ahead and open up the TCP optimizer file. Right click on it and run as administrator as well. Once the program opens up, let it load all the settings. After it loads up all of the settings, slide this bar all the way to the right and make sure that don't modify network adopters is unchecked and modify all adop network adopters is checked. Then go ahead and go to file, click on import and then import this export file right here. Then click on open, then click on apply changes, click on ok and then just wait for it to apply all of the settings. Your network might disconnect and reconnect a few times so don't worry it's completely normal. Okay, so once it has applied all of the settings, it will ask you to restart now, but we are gonna be restarting later, so click on no, and then click on exit, then you can close out of this and you can delete both of these if you like to. Next up guys, go down into the description of this video again and download the software called Adware Cleaner, Malwarebytes Adware Cleaner. This software will scan for malware and any unwanted programs that might be running in the background consuming network resources and hence increasing your ping and packet loss. After using this software, most people will guaranteed have no packet loss at all that is zero packet loss and it will improve your ping a lot too. So go ahead and download it and run it as administrator. You don't even need to install it, it will run from the setup itself. Then go ahead and click on this scan now option. 
It might take some time depending on the specs of your PC and the number of items it has to scan. So go ahead and let it run. And as you guys can see, it has already detected two items from me. Okay, so total of six items were found and all of them are unwanted softwares. Go ahead and click on quarantine and then click on continue. Make sure you go ahead and close any other things because when you click on continue, it will close everything else and then it will ask you to restart. So go ahead, click on continue and then restart your PC and then come back to the guide. So moving on guys, we are gonna be installing bloat free network drivers. That means that we will only be installing the latest version of network drivers instead of all the files that come along with it and consume network which will lower your ping in most of the cases. So we are gonna be installing only the drivers and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that for both Intel and Realtek. But before installing the drivers, we will need to check which drivers we are using already. So go ahead and go to the network icon right here, right click on it and click on open network and internet settings. Then go ahead and click on change adapter options. And then here you can find which drivers you are using. For me, I am using the Intel. And if it says Realtek, then you are using the Realtek drivers. I will show you guys how to install both of these. So go ahead and close out of this and you can also close out of this. And then go into the description of this video and click on the link for your driver. If you're using Intel drivers, go ahead and click on the Intel link. And if you're using Realtek drivers, go ahead and click on the Realtek link. For the Intel ones, go ahead and just click on download. If you're using a 32-bit version of Windows, click here. If you're using a 64 bit bit which I assume most of the people will be go ahead and click on download from here and for the real tech drivers you need to scroll down and find the Windows option right here then click on the Windows 10 auto installation program then it will ask you to enter an email you can enter any email because they will not send you the link as they say here just enter any email and click on download file so after you have downloaded the driver needed for your drivers, that means if you are using Intel drivers, download the Intel drivers and if you are using the Realtek drivers, download the Realtek drivers, put them into a folder. So first up, I'm gonna show you guys how to install the Intel drivers, just moving it into a new folder, then open it up, then go ahead and right click on it, click on extract here. After that guys, most of the people will be using the Pro 1000, otherwise you guys will be using Pro 2500. So try both of these. To update the drivers, go ahead and go down to your start menu and search for device manager and then click on it. Then go ahead and go into the network adopters, right click on the first one and click on update drivers. Then click on browse my computer for driver software and then browse it to the folder that you have. For me, it was new folder two and go into the Pro 1000 folder and then click on OK, then click on Next. I have already installed these, so it's not gonna let me install. So that's how you guys will install the Intel drivers. Now we can minimize this and I'm gonna show you guys how to install the Realtek drivers. So go ahead and extract it as well. Then go into the folder and for the Realtek drivers, go into Windows 10. And if you're using 64-bit version, just drag this file onto the desktop. Otherwise, drag this one. I'm using a 64-bit, so I'm just gonna drag it right here. Then go ahead and do the same step. Click on Update Driver, Browse My Computer, and then browse for this 64, and then click on OK. I'm using Intel drivers, so I'm just not gonna click on Next. If you guys are using the Realtek drivers, go ahead, click on Next, and then it will update your drivers. So that's how you guys can install bloat free drivers without installing any of the junk that comes along with it and this bloat free driver will help you guys get lower ping. In the next step guys we are gonna be optimizing our DNS server to get the lowest ping possible and we will be changing our DNS according to the ping that we are getting. So to check which DNS server works best for you, go ahead and go down into your start menu and then search CMD. Right click on it and run as administrator. Then go ahead and type PING ping space 1.1.1.1 and then click on enter. 
and as you guys can see i'm getting the minimum of 23 ping right here and maximum of 25 average is 24 and then we are gonna be checking the google, google dns server as well so go ahead and type ping again space 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and then press enter and as you guys can see I'm getting the minimum ping of 66 maximum 67 and average 66 so clearly I'm getting lower ping on 1.1.1.1 so we are gonna be using this one just go ahead and close this then go ahead and right click on the network icon click on open network and internet settings click on change adapter options go ahead and right click on the Ethernet click on properties then go into the net internet protocol version 4 double click on it check use the following dns server address if any of this doesn't work well for you guys you guys can go ahead and click on update dns server again by coming here it will reset everything back to default so i'm gonna be using the 1.1.1.1 1 and if you guys are getting lower ping on 8.8.8.8 .8 go ahead and use that here and in the alternate DNS server, type 1.0.0.1 and if you're using the 8.8.8.8 in the preferred DNS, go ahead and use alternate DNS of 8.8.4.4 which will be right here on the screen. So just go ahead and click on OK. Then click on OK again and then you can close out of this and then you can close out of this as well. Next up guys, we are going to be disabling any of the power saving options for our network adopters which will allow us to push our network adopters to the limit and lowering our ping which will make sure that we are getting the best ping possible. So go ahead and go down to your start menu again and search for device manager. Then go ahead and click on it. Then click on the network adopters. Right click on the first one and go down to properties. Then go to power management and make sure that all of these are unchecked and then go into the advanced tab so in here go ahead and follow me for the adaptive interframe spacing disable ARP offload disabled flow control disabled and then we can go to IPv4 checksum offload make sure it's disabled as well for the jumbo packet make sure it's disabled as well then go ahead and go down to NS offload make sure it's enabled for the receive buffers, you guys can go ahead and use 512 or 256 right here. It depends on your network, so go ahead and try both of these. For the receive side scaling, make sure it's enabled. And for the speed and duplex, make sure that you guys go ahead and use the 100 Mbps full duplex. And then for the transmit buffers, change it to 512. And then wait for the link check auto detect then click on ok and then you can close out of this so yeah guys wrapping up the video there are some tips that i want to share with you guys the first one is to close any of the background apps which are using your internet while playing the game for example discord or google chrome make sure that you close google chrome because it uses too much of the network which will give you a lot higher ping so when you close google chrome it will surely give you a lower ping and the other thing is switching from Wi-Fi to Ethernet. I know everyone says that but it's really highly recommended guys because you guys will see improvements when you switch to Ethernet and your ping will be a lot lower. For example, you guys are getting 50 ping at your Wi-Fi. You guys might be able to get 10 or 15 ping when you switch to Ethernet. So it's really highly recommended that you guys go ahead and switch to an Ethernet cable. And yeah guys, don't forget to go ahead and join my Discord server. We are creating a community and we will be helping if you guys have any questions or any issues. There are a lot of people who will answer your questions and help you with your issue. So go ahead and join the Discord server. Link will be in the description. As for this video, that's it from me guys. If this video helped you guys, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for future content. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay awesome.